Right, 20 and a half. Seems like somebody's had enough because the song is we're not going to take it anymore. Well, that's what they're saying in the song. We're not going to take it anymore. We've had enough. So, it could be in any area of your life. But it looks like you might have to take it a bit longer because we've got ice there. Put it on ice. Don't do anything rash. Let's see whether the rest agrees with it. Six House of Vega. Gemini Communications and the Sun. So. Twenty ninth is the High Priestess Persephone, the daughter, um, kidnapped. So, spirit being spirit, somebody could have been kidnapped um, by the devil. So you may feel your daughter is um, shackled in an unhappy marriage or at the gates of hell through drugs or friends, whatever it is. Um, also she is a warning to keep everything that comes into your aura positive let no negativity in be it diet, medication um, and let no negativity out as in words written or spoken uh, she knows all but says very little the high priestess or 29 um, door numbers birthdays anniversaries whatever it is um, it's a tarot reader the psychic the medium the carnival people october the 11th where i come from but the carnival may come to town at a different time for you um, partly through her own fault she stayed in uh, she has to stay in hell through the winter. So Isa, the three months for the three pips that she ate of the pomegranates. So pomegranates might be important. So your diet may need to include pomegranate juice because I know it's good for the kidneys. Um, it's connection to spirit. In a big way. You don't want to be sacrificed on the altar of somebody else's beliefs. So let's see what Persephone has to tell us because she knows everything. It's very rare she speaks. She's mute. So possibly sons and daughters, we can't ignore that some sons will be born on the 2nd or 29th, or you may live at number 29 or number 2. Could be a date for your diary, an anniversary, whatever. So let's see. I'm afraid she is in the darkest part of hell for those winter months until the spring. Probably put there by someone else. But she plays a part in it because she's willing to sacrifice herself in some way.
Mother will rescue her in the spring. Where's she gone? Oh, don't tell me it's the wrong pal. It is as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we are. So, 22, fear of the future. Not prepared to take a risk, putting things off until tomorrow that should be done today. The dog, that was born in the year of the dog, holding you back. Enemies, which may well be yourself. Lack of communication, lack of action. Um, possible communication problems. We've got Gemini there and Gemini here, Gemini Cusper which is late Taurus early cancer. Um, lack of communication, lack of talking about it, or when you do talk about it, it becomes an argument. Possible third parties, something coming between you and what you want, heartache, sorrow, loss and separation. There's mum, Demeter, come to save you, bring you abundance, bring back happiness. Um, the military, uh, May the 31st, November the 11th, the puppies, growth through pain, something coming to light, blockages removed, so when the sun comes out after winter in the spring, um, the sunflowers have some meaning, and those born in the year of the horse, you will be able to travel um, out of the darkness, but for now, you're stuck in that darkness, unable to speak. Possibly because of financial concerns, which is successful. So selling your soul to the devil for finances. An injustice is taking place. Legal matters may be the obstacle that needs to be sorted. Libra is sitting on the fence. So we've got Taurus, Leo and Libra sitting on the fence. Um... So there is some heartache, sorrow, loss, separation and pain to deal with. Um, but financially, there doesn't seem to be a problem. It is just all those swords out to get you. Even the justice has a sword. An injustice. Maybe legal matters are not in your favour if you leave this situation where you're shackled. So it's depression, physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally and possibly financially where you feel you are in a place um, of hell. So 22, 11 is negative. Um, colon, prostate issues. But 3 and 30, 19 is um, positive. Businessman that's lost everything. Um, a man in uniform, dark complexion, Capricorn energy. Um, Capricorn cusper. So late Sagittarius, early Aquarius. It's um, someone who was once a good friend, now a dangerous enemy. Someone who's accepted into the family. A homecoming, someone's coming home, possibly coming home to who they truly are. But they're not going to waste time anymore on a criminal activity. 
again, Gemini, lack of communication, depression, the masks that we wear, pretending to be happy when we're not, pretending to be wealthy when we're not, pretending to be something that we're not. Um, massive problems. Children, siblings, so again the daughters, the sons, hands, arms, shoulders, twins. Something has to end to transform this situation. So a death and then a rebirth. Scorpio energy. Shared resources, I think, is the problem. Possibly hormones, reproductive organs, because, like I said, Libra is the call on the prostate. So Scorpio 13 is lucky. Um, coming out of your comfort zone, transforming your energy. I believe that'll be after the thaw because we're at the minute we're in deep ice. ice so, yes, the conception of an idea, a child perhaps, um, the answer is yes. It's a puppy. So if you've lost a dog, maybe you're considering getting a puppy. Um, apologies. The younger, more mature energy of this uh, someone possibly in the family unit, like I said, that would mean that the father is negative. The Virgo energy of the sixth house, Chiron, coming in to heal your wounds. Or you need to heal yours first before you can heal others. Agriculture, um, the military, those in uniform, <coughs> health issues. Slow and steady wins the race. So it's going to take some time. Spring is only around the corner, but we have to have it on ice. Number 20, Judgment Day has arrived. Jericho, the walls come tumbling down. Joshua, dental problems, um, knees, burns, all needs to be settled to number 20. But somebody's refusing or unable to make the effort Um could be someone with a tattoo, um, but you're putting too much effort into this for others' gain. Now we have the enemy overcome. So the enemy will be overcome. This injustice will be um, stopped, probably by the mother energy, someone who um, is abundant, who can help. So we're not going to take it anymore, is what the song says. We're going to come out of our comfort zone. We're going to pull off the masks of ourselves and others and settle this situation. Maybe oh, heartache, sorrow, loss and separation. You have to get over that first. Maybe simple that the pain is to do with dental problems. You have to go and get it sorted because you're like a bear with a sore head. There is a reunion, a celebration, like I said, possibly a homecoming. There are three life cycles of women there, the maiden, the mother and the crone. So grandma, mother, daughter, three women. Faith, hope, charity, the three knowns. Success then is a shard. So we have got to wait. Slow and steady wins the race. But this is people pleasing. 16. Walking around on eggshells. Trying not to cause uh, an explosive event. Brushing things under the carpet. Neptune in Pisces. So 2026 we're going to get through to. So maybe it'll take a while longer for some of you. But you um, are refusing to bring those walls down. To destroy the ivory tower that's become your prison. 16. Yep. Impatience now. It's bubbling under the surface. You need a new team, a new foundation. Um, you may have just qualified from university. Now you've got to set out um, 
to make your own life. The green light of go from spirit. Because somebody here is holding you to ransom emotionally or physically. Just like Persephone is kept at the gates of hell. And you feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. No way out. Yeah, so we end as we began with the fool. Fear of the unknown, of the future. Always putting it off until tomorrow because we're apathetic. So refusing to take action. And if you do that, you'll never settle this. 22. Very depressing uh, message then today. So Spirit want you to say, I'm not going to take it anymore. There's the 15 that would be the devil. There's the Gemini energy of communication. We've got it uh, there, there and there. So that's three, four times we've got the Gemini energy and Capricorn um, of the toxic marriage or situation. A choice for you to make. Only you can do it. Are you going to take it anymore or not? Spirits say you should get going. Um, so toxic energy, communications, the lovers. 6 or 24 is positive. Um, Adam, Eve, Lily, the snake, the Gemini cancer cusper. So anyone around the 21st of June before we enter July. No one is free, even the birds are chained to the sky, Bob Dylan. So it's time to have that conversation. Communication is the key. You must be versatile and quick. You must also be mindful because there is gossip and people are talking, especially if you're involved in a third party, because it's going to come out. Um... You may be the object of discussion, or you may have to talk your way into or out of a sticky situation. Communication is the key with Gemini, and you may find yourself involved with new forms of technology that help spread your ideas to a wider audience. Such technology would include cameras, computers, tablets, and the next invention to come along. Writing may also figure in, such as creating a blog, writing a book, or just being involved with books and publishing. You may find yourself either to be skilled diplomat or asked to teach and give a speech. But I would also suggest if everything else has not worked, a letter and the way putting your feelings down on paper or even just putting them in a diary may help. At this current time, you may find yourself being highly strung, nervous or excitable because it's bubbling under the surface, as is the nature of Gemini but still able to figure it out with a probing mind. You may feel as if you're riding high with lofty energy. And multitasking will be required of you. Gemini is the sign of soulmates. Um, so this card can indicate an important romantic relationship has started or will figure in shortly. But the bottom line is, the Gemini card is this. Words are important now. How you use them, use them wisely. Words will be imperative regarding the outcome of this reading. And if you haven't got the right words, you may feel that the best idea is to be like the High Priestess and say nothing. Um, pay attention, be mindful, be alert, be aware. Talking, writing, explanation and versatility. Be very careful of your words. Keep them positive. This is not a good thing, this is an injustice, just like it was for Persephone. She didn't choose to be kidnapped or held to ransom and had to be saved by a mum and Hecate. So a communication may be coming, <clears throat> possibly from a child um, or a gift or a message and crystals are important. So we've got healing crystals and communication crystals and the selenite and the chakra stones
The number seven. Communication. Seventh house of Libra, which we've got there. Which is... The marital home. Which doesn't look good because the tower's upside down. People walking about on eggshells. But it is Chiron. There is some sort of healing going on because it's the gift giver and there he is with his gift. The tri-spiral in the background is the famous rock carving inside the chamber at Newgrange. Oh, there used to be a prison at Newgrange, I believe. I received a gift indeed from the elemental messenger one morning. So the postman arrived in maybe, holding out a double terminated quartz crystal. The message was clear. Crystals help with our communication with the other realms, like a two-way radio. Quartz crystal, in particular, is an amplifier and therefore aids our perception of energy and also allows messengers from the other realms to make their message stronger. So if you live anywhere where there's quartz, perhaps a barefoot walk outside would be a good idea. Quartz comes in many shapes and sizes and is also a constituent of many other crystals. It can be used as a substitute for any crystals we don't have due to its ability to allow channeled energy to work through it. So it's a bit like the old um, crystal valve radios. We are also able to use it to help with our communication to other beings, like elementals, for example. The gift that making contact with other realms brings is truly something to be grateful for, and I can testify to that. Understanding that there are other realms coinciding with your own may be something foreign to you because in Western society we are led to believe that in order for something to be true it must be backed by science or proven to exist. Science don't know everything. The other realms require your faith and belief first in order to see or sense them. Enjoy this card. It may be showing us that something positive is about to come our way. Yes, it is. The outcome is favourable or it is time to make contact with the other realms and elementals. Ask them to make themselves known to you. Invite them into your world after you protect your area and yourself. So remember to put yourself in that bubble and meditate on you sitting in that bubble, that pyramid, that cube, whatever it is that you feel safe in so that your ancestors can protect you. Um, and ask yourself what you can give in return. This doesn't need to be anything material. It can simply be an act of kindness for someone or paying it forward kind of deed. So do what you can. There it is. The scales. Libra again. The injustice needs to be righted. A wrong must be righted. So... Where is he? There he is. The keeper of the scales needs to bring balance back to your life. So a court case could be important. Number 12. Uh, sorry, number 11. Again, so justice. And 38. The law of harmony is enacted when the keeper of the scales comes to you as an ally. You have to make a conscious choice, the lovers. Well done, spirit. And create balance in your life. Because when you do, you also magically align with abundance and the universe, the mother energy. There she is, abundance and the universe. And the powerful forces of synchronicity, coincidence, that chance meeting, that overheard conversation, that gossip perhaps, that leads to the fulfilment of your highest intention. Harmony begins with the self and then resonates outward. So once you heal yourself, you can then go on to heal others. When you're in harmony with yourself, you nurture yourself with love, respect and acceptance, always fully taking responsibility for your actions. Only then, can you be in harmony with others? This is because love 
is a central force that connects all of life and aligns you with like-minded others. Another message is restoration and the positive fair resolution, as your resolution of any legal disputes or important exchanges. The keeper of the scales is just and kindly ally, always making sure that balance is activated in your path. So for every negative, there is a positive. And um, power. You are reminded that your essence is divine. Do not let anyone diminish you or make you feel small. Again, the tower. Don't push things under the carpet and dim your light for anyone. When you feel totally serene and at peace, you are powerful and no one can upset you or influence you. Just like in the martial arts, let your enemy come to you. Your angel guidance is to find your still quiet centre. Heal your anger. Purify your emotions because they will work against you. Rely on your own judgment. Judgment day has arrived. And take your decision. It serves your spiritual growth to take responsibility for your life. It's time to stand on your own two feet and be strong. True power is based on inner strength, self-worth and confidence. So claim your power back today. You are serene, powerful and confident. And the way Persephone took her power back, well, she went on hunger strike. Unfortunately, when she knew mum was coming, she made a slight mistake and ate three po pomegranate seeds that kept her in deep freeze for three months. And mum was unable to come to her, so she put the whole earth into winter. So, mothers, daughters, children seems very important. Your mum may be in spirit telling you it's time to go. Um, I said it could be that you've got some investments that you don't want to leave behind uh, some things are mo uh, more important than money the double E wherever you see it in any word or anywhere is important the shape of the rune represents an icicle there it is cold, hard and unyielding so that may be you or someone else capable of causing this pain, this heartache. Um, ice in general is associated with this rune, especially the type of ice that makes walking difficult. So watch out for the conditions outside. You may suffer a fall, uh, broken bones, because it is the teeth, the bones, the knees. Um, it's connected with the slow-moving, inexorable glacier too. Being notable for its hardness, Isa is also associated with cold iron, which affects um, the spiritual people, from which weapons were made. The symbol best associated with Isa are the herds of reindeer and that roam the snowy wastes. So, as well as ferocious wild boars so those born in the year of the boar the pig the vegetable symbol in isa includes the alder tree and the poisonous herb of henbane so toxic like i said toxic situations could be the criminal activity is to do with drugs um so our tree is the older then which is Aquarius, which we're in now. Well done, Spirit. And it's connected to the number seven. Well done again, Spirit. The gift that keeps giving. So a gift may be coming your way. Vedandi, the non of the present. So we have the three nons. We must live in the present. Is the third goddess of fate to appear in the sequence of runes. Her iron will as guardian, so again, mother or your guardian of the status quo, fits perfectly with the nature of Isa. Another goddess whose cold-hearted heart resistance resisted warmth and persuasion of all kinds is Rand, who refused Odin the means to avenge the death of his son. Rand is symbolic of frozen earth of winter, so that injustice for one of you may mean that you didn't get justice for the death of your son. 
and you feel that your son was dishonoured in some way. Like the infinitely slow-moving glacier, the force of the rune Isa is unstoppable. All you require when the rune is found in a reading is the rarest of virtues, patience. What did I say? You just have to wait this out till spring. The appearance of Isa is the most distressing when the question is about relationships because this icy rune foretells a period of emotional cooling. It doesn't necessarily mean a permanent state of affairs because the thaw will eventually come and the ice will melt. And eventually, I think Persephone did get quite used to being down in hell and made the best of it. In other affairs, Isa also slowly um, slows events down to a crawl. Business partnerships may go through a rocky patch because expected events are not happening when they're supposed to. So you may not get paid when you're supposed to and that will bring your downfall business-wise. You may also find that any blocks to your ambition will turn out to be dis blessings in disguise. So, because your, your feelings and your thoughts will change during this period of delay. So it's a cooling off period to make sure you want what you think you want. Even though this rune is not the most comfortable to live with and can be most distressing for affairs of the heart, the cool clarity of ice bestows a calmness conductive to quiet contemplation. And the true gift that they're trying to give you of Isa is a respite from your cluttered thinking, which will allow you to see your situation and prospects more clearly. It may even show you how to progress in the future to avoid the pitfalls and slip-ups that would otherwise occur. So, an aha moment, something coming to light, when the home is in disrepair, either emotionally or physically or financially, the aha moment maybe shows you where. So if you've got a trip hazard, a carpet that's always rucking up or something like that, sort it out now and that will prevent the slip up to the falls that you've had before. It could be something, something as simple as that. Um, if you're involved in a creative venture, of any kind, it would be a good idea to take a pause from it. Even if you believe that you are wasting your time, nothing could be further from the truth. This interval will allow you to recharge. So like when I'm painting, when I get to a certain stage, I know to walk away because if I don't, I will ruin the thing completely. Um, when the thaw sets in, you will thus be able to pursue your task with renewed vigour. 